Let's discuss about master data and transaction data in PeopleSoft. Enterprise data can be understood as master data or transaction data. Now master data account, products, customer type, departments, operating unit, everything that you set up in starting of your project and that is static in nature is known as master data. Transaction data comes on a daily basis from source, basically transactions. Apart from that, it could be manual journals or system generated journals, revaluation, interim close, etc. Master data known as chart fields, transaction data come as journals. Let's take example of Max Group and consider that it is having subsidiaries in US, Max US with the base currency USD and Max UK with the base currency in GBP. Both these subsidiaries are using the same type of master data, account, department list and product list because it is controlled by Max Group which can have something, some features in common. Let's take example of Max Group sample master data. Account, it provide a list of account. Department, these are the departments, these are the products. So this is covered and controlled on the group level. So they are having a list which is common. This data is common for both Max US and Max UK. For Max US, let's see some sample transaction data. So it will be having transaction ID, transaction line, account, department, product. These are various dimensions or attributes in PeopleSoft we called chart fields based on which we record the amount. Similarly for Max UK you can see the sample transaction data will be having same chart fields account department product and amount. So basically this data is a static in nature and can be controlled on a group level. So let's see in PeopleSoft how we create master data set ID and a business unit. Business unit is used to control transaction data. So we will see how to create one single set ID max and two GLBUs max US and max UK. Max US currency USD, max UK currency GBP and both will be having same set ID max. To create a set ID max go to people tools utilities administration table set IDs click on add a new value provide set ID max and provide a description max group short description max and provide comment max group for PSGL demo click save so this will create a set ID under which you can define various chart fields account product customer type everything will be defined under set ID max and this will be common for both max us and max uk so whatever we will define under max set id can be used by both the BUs. now we will see how to create max us glbu for that you need to go to main menu setup financials business unit related general ledger definitions click on add a new value provide business unit max us so this will be the starting of the configurations in general ledger after that there will be further configurations ledger for a unit etc where we define other rules related to particular business unit the important thing at this stage we have to provide what is the base currency for that GLBU as of date 
that means when this GL view is affected and default set ID which is max in our case whenever you create a GLBU by default the set ID also create gets created click save now similarly we will create another BU max UK the only difference between two would be the currency for max UK we will use GBP as of date we are changing to over and over 1901 that means we want it to be affected from 1901 so it is generally so that we can place uh, any legacy data if it is uh, in the initial implementation of the project set ID will be max again then click on create BU it will create BU so as I told uh, that set IDs for max US and max UK will be created automatically so let's check that go to main menu people tools utilities administration table set ID let's search for existing set ID so you can see that apart from max max US and max UK is also auto created when we create the BU so to summarize master data and transaction data master data represents uh, business objects controlled by set ID the data is mostly static in nature and master data can be shared by different business units transaction data represent day-to-day -day transactions it is controlled by business units it is dynamic in nature basically the data come on a regular basis and it is specific to particular business unit whereas set ID can be shared between various business units that's all in the video thank you for watching have a nice day